is all you'll need my chocolate orange cake whatever chocolate you fancy to decorate the top with then I'm going to need some eggs, butter orange jelly an orange or two some orange marmalade some whipping cream self raising flour cocoa powder and some caster sugar first thing you're going to do is get your jelly break it into pieces into a jug and then mix in with some boiling water set that aside keep giving it a stir to make sure it's melted and while you're doing that you're going to line the cake tin that you're going to bake the cake in with some cling film or plastic wrap and just wait for the jelly to cool down and we'll pour it into there to help the jelly cool down a little I've added some cold water as well once your jelly cubes have melted of course and then it's into your cake tin that's going in the fridge until it sets at least a couple of hours and preferably overnight with your jelly setting in the fridge first thing to do is take the orange pith off of your orange and onto a plate to save. With your orange peel set aside, it's time to go into a bowl with some softened butter, or you can really soften it in the microwave as I've done. In with the sugar, you're going to get those mixed together until they're nice and creamy. With your eggs and sugar mixed, it's time to go in with the juice of an orange and half the orange zest that you just did then we're going in with the eggs we're doing the eggs one at a time though so put one in whisk it up and the same with the other three With your eggs whisked in, it's time to go in with the flour and cocoa powder. You can put a teaspoon of baking powder in here as well if you like, but if not, the self raising flour should be enough because I know a lot of people don't have baking powder to hand. So it's in with the flour and cocoa powder, and then whatever you do, don't use your mixer. Just use a spatula or a wooden spoon, whatever you've got to hand, and just mix that in until it all comes together. When you've mixed in your cake mixture, so it looks something like that, it's time for that. So take your jelly mold out of the fridge when it's been set. So there and give the cake tin a quick wash ready for your cake. With your jelly mold taken out and put back in the fridge it's time to give your cake tin a quick wash dry and then give it a rub round with some butter or vegetable oil. Into the bottom of there you're just going with a piece that you cut out of grease proof paper. will stick because of the butter and oil you've just put into it. Then you're going in with your cake mixture. You're going to put this in the oven at 170 for around 30 or 40 minutes depending on what type of oven you've got until a toothpick comes out of it quite clean. Once a toothpick comes out of your cake clean put no cake mixture on it you know the cake is done. So just loosen it up by going round it with a knife. Then we're going to flip it over. And you're just going to tap the bottom until it loosens and falls through. There we go. There's your 
cake. Take off your greaseproof paper. And see that? You're going to let it cool down for a bit before you cut it in half. Once your cake has cooled down a bit, time to get a serrated knife and cut it in half. Don't do it in all in one fell swoop. Just keep going round it and you'll eventually get there. There we go. Once you've got your jelly mould out of the cake, it's time to slide it onto a plate. And then, to get it onto the cake, you don't want to be lifting it like that because it falls all over the place because obviously it's wobbly jelly. If it does do that, it doesn't matter because you can put it in the cake anyway and hide a multitude of sins. But the best way is to put the base onto it. And then we're just going to flick it over. With your orange mold on your cake, next thing is the topping and more filling. So I've gone with whipping cream purely because it's delicious. So I'm going to get that whipped up, I'm going to put some on top and in the centre as a filling as well. Onto the part of the cake that's going to be on the inside when it's finished, you're just going to put a thin layer of orange marmalade just to add to the orangeness. For the chocolate I'm going to put on top, I broke up the bar of chocolate into pieces. You can use a machine like I'm going to, or you can just do it by hand and chop away. Obviously a machine takes all the work out of it. With the cream done, time to put half of it on what will be the filling. on with the top lick your fingers and then it's on with the rest of the cream and onto there going with your orange zest and then it's on with your chocolate bits And then finally, I've cut up some orange, chop them into pieces, try to get rid of the pith as much as I could, just so it's lovely fresh orange. And on that goes to finish it off. <laughs> 